Hi, I'm Jason Schumacher at Slugfest Printmaking Workshop. I'm going to talk about probably the most important part of printmaking, and that is cleaning up after yourself. You don't want ink to, to draw into your plate, so once you're done printing, there's a few solvents you can use, paint thinner, kerosene even. Um, Isopar G is not any safer than any of the others, but it works pretty good. Just put a little bit on your plate, take a rag, the blue shop towels, are a favorite around here. Get all the ink out. If there's some ink that's being tough, down there you can take a toothbrush. Um, some acetone will help that out. Acetone's probably the most harmful thing in here, so you don't want to use it unless you really have to. But once all the ink is cleaned up out of there, for storage, long-term storage, you'd want to use asphaltum or some kind of stop-out varnish that'll protect the matrix, especially if there's aqua tents or real fragile marks on there. One thing that's easy for coming back the next day or a couple days later is just a little baby powder. A little bit on there, rub it around, get it down in the marks, and that's just going to protect the copper from oxidizing. Um, once the plate is done, just set that aside. If you have extra ink, no point in throwing it away, it's still good. Piece of wax paper, pick up your ink. Let's set it in the middle of the wax paper and just fold it in on itself, making a little envelope for that ink. If you've mixed a color ink or a special mixture, go ahead and write that on there with a Sharpie marker, something like that. Using the same solvents, you can clean up your ink. Um, if it looks clean, take a, a clean rag and wipe it over. You'll find that it's still a little dirty. So a couple more passes with the solvents and you're done.